So today they have arrived from the uh, communal office to do the sewer system, the connections that's leading into our property. And we are heading out uh, doing errands and we are going to Milan. So we won't be here for the remainder of the day. But this is the uh, progress so far. And we will be back later. So it's evening, we are back at the house. I saw this and I was thinking maybe we should do a drawbridge medieval style uh, for the entrance of the house or maybe we shouldn't um, probably the worst idea ever uh, so they have closed it and they've also closed the attachment uh, which means tomorrow 8 30 we have a meeting here for a guy to see if he is gonna do our uh, plumbing and now he can't see the attachment anyway uh, he will decide whether he wants to go that way and up the trench we already have or if he wants to do another trench just straight like that uh, for me it doesn't really matter um, so this morning we have the electricians here That's for the outlets, etc. And over there is for the uh, connex, which is gonna be connected uh, from the stables into the villa where we will have another one of these, but much uh, larger. And we also uh, have the guys here to put some asphalt on, down finish up the work. Tony's enjoying the sun. Jimmy is being Jimmy. Later that same evening. So I just went to check the windows. This is the actual window frame. It's in uh, basically new condition. And these ones basically live underneath our window ledge. Uh, not ideal, I would say. So I need to go get something to get rid of them. So I've uh, put up the string with a few welcoming signs. Uh, we have had some issues with people uh, entering our property. Uh, basically walking around everywhere, which is really annoying. And uh, we're trying to get rid of them, so uh, I hope those signs will help. I've uh, attached Jimmy to the strings. Seems fairly happy about it. So I've basically put a steel wire going between here, so he can run basically over there, up here, around he can do, yeah. As much as he wants, he can go into the shade if needed. And he uh, should be okay. That one doesn't escape as much as this one does. Uh, today I'm gonna work on the kitchen. I've just dropped off Anna at the uh, airport and I'm gonna change this cabinet to a basically one that goes here so that we have a little bit more space it's a fairly tight fit we can open and close the door but it's it's uh, I mean, we have a spare millimeter, so uh, anyway, I'm going to change it to a smaller one and then we are having the guy to come and measure it 
this coming week. And uh, where's Jimmy? On, uh, on my way back from the airport, I saw these guys uh, running with the Olympic torch. So I'll insert the video on that. Okay, so let's not cue the time lapse of me building that cabinet. Let's just cut until it's done and mounted. What I'm gonna do now is move it a little bit that way, move all the cameras a little bit this way, and then I should be, uh, this should be it for now. Okay, so that's that. Uh, next up, I'm gonna go get the oven, which I believe is in the house. I can't really remember where, but I'm gonna go get it, uh, mount the uh, underpiece for it. Okay, so I managed to find the oven in what is going to be the uh, new kitchen in the future. It's right over there. Um, I also found this wooden thing. I know what this is, but do you guys know what it is? Uh, I'm pretty sure Italians know what that is, but type in a comment your guess what this is used for, and I will tell you guys in the next episode. So off camera, I built this uh, little drawer that's gonna go down here, and now I'm gonna mount the, uh, I'm gonna mount the drawer, and then uh, attach the uh, plate heater and oven, etc. So that's it for the kitchen right now. It's, I mean, it's not finished, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, it's finished enough to do the measurements for the uh, top, the ball piece that's gonna go. And then we're gonna put the sink once that's done. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. I'll speak to Anna and see what we'll do here if we're gonna do a cover piece on that uh, because we are gonna do cover pieces over here etc uh, as well as on this side as well um, so uh, yeah we'll see I don't mind having it like that but uh, I'll have her decide so that's the uh, kitchen progress so far Next up will be the uh, bathroom, but that's going to be uh, tomorrow. Now I'm going to go attend Jimmy. I was looking for Tony because Tony went inside because we had a few drops of rain just now. So uh, I'm going to call it today and I'll be back. So I've been out trying to get hold of things for the bathroom and I stumbled across this villa uh, with a low maintenance garden. Well, look at the house. Stunning. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to driving. And, um,
just amazing. It's not that big, but the details are uh, beautiful. That's probably the uh, priest's old villa. Really nice as well. Um, okay, let's get back to driving again. So I drove past this one, uh, which is in the neighboring village, about 10 minutes from our place. And uh, it's a beautiful house. Um, not for sale, but that one is. Uh, which is also a very nice house. It's, I think, two and a half million euros. Basically, two and a half million dollars. Um, it can be found online. Um, so, yeah, I will continue my drive. Okay, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, I haven't been working much the past few days. Me and Anna have been busy uh, running errands off camera and today I've been trying to get hold of uh, supplies etc for the bathroom, looking at shower walls etc. So I'm thinking of doing a few daily vlogs in the coming days. Um, we'll see, I'm not making any promises. That might be the case. Here's Tony, back from the uh, pheasant hunt, I don't know what they're doing, hunting birds. Um, yeah, so there might be a few daily vlogs, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna end it. Uh, I'll see you guys in a, a few days or tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see. Until next time, ciao!